Now that we know how the CCDs, CMOS operate and how they capture, we have just talked about how they capture light, which means we have captured luminance. We now need to know how we get color. In this picture here, we have rich colors. We have red, green, blues, and, and so on. So how do we generate color out of that little pixel? There are three basic colors we use to obtain all colors. So in television, we use red, green, and blue as the basic, as the three basic colors, which we then mix in different ratios to get to the true final colors. There are a few separation techniques used in television, which the most popular is called the Bayer filter, is the most popularly used in a single imager. Then we have a dichroic prism color separation where we go through a prism and separate into the three basic colors. And the one that's not used anymore, but it was used for a long time, is the using a dichroic mirror where a mirror will reflect red, green, and blue in different intensities so that we can now use those three basic colors to obtain all colors in the spectrum. So let's talk about the Bayer filter. What we see here is the different layout of the filters. Like each pixel now has a little filter attached to it, put on top of it, and they're greens, reds, and blues, so that when light goes through these pixels, the filtering will result in the pattern that's indicated in this chart. If you want to know more details about the Bayer filter, how it works, um, we have a patent number on the slide and a better ex and a more detailed explanation. But basically, it's two times green, one time red, one time blue, and then it's processed accordingly. The dichroic mirror or dichroic filter indicated on the slide is just illustrating how light gets separated into the three basic components for later reconstruction of the original colors. The most popular method used in cameras today for three CCDs or three CMOS is the prism separation in its three basic colors, red, green, and blue. The light goes through the lens it then passes through a specially designed prism, a two-piece glass prism, and the light is, is then separated into red, green, and blue components. As we see in this slide, the three CCD typical camera will then superimpose the images on the red, green, and blue and process these images separately inside the processing circuits. And the luminance is then obtained from these three basic colors, as you see with the equation down, we're 60% green, 30% red, and 10% blue. So now getting ready for the digital processing, red, green, and blue is then fed to a DSP. You may have heard this term before. It refers to digital signal processor. Most cameras uh, have this processor, and, and today probably all of them. And it, Processed in the digital domain, it's compensated for dynamic range and for color reproduction. And then we get video output. That video output is the one we're all familiar with. And then we feed this to a monitor, to a recorder, or to any device transmission, whatever device you think or you use in your application.